Hi, I'm Annette Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach. So today, uh, I want to ask you the question, are you more emotionally affected by things than other people? Do you feel like you're more emotional of a person? And I want to tell you about some research that actually shows that people with skin picking disorder a, are more emotionally reactive, and B, they can show where in the brain is reacting, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's just the same parts that are reacting with other people, but we actually react more strongly. So um, this is some cool new research in the journal Behavioral Brain Research, and I'll put the uh, actual reference in the notes below the video if you want to look it up. Um, it'll say 2018, but it's available online now. So anyway, I thought this was pretty interesting um, to share with you. So there was um, some previously some evidence, that, or that's actually the model what behavioral scientists have hypothesized about people with skin picking disorder is that we are more emotional and emotionally reactive and stuff like that. And we also have more challenges um, processing emotions, okay? Which is why we turn to dysfunctional means such as skin picking. So it's really cool they used a technique called functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI, which is a way that you can look at the brain and tell what parts are active. So it actually takes advantage of the fact that magnetically blood or hemoglobin that's oxygenated has a different magnetic property than deoxygenated blood. And so parts of the brain that are active that are actually being used at the time, they have more uh, turnover as far as like you can see oxygen be deoxygenated at a quick rate. And so those parts, they can, they can do an image like the one I'll show you. The way they did this study was that they had people with skin picking disorder and people without, and they were all women actually. Um, so women with and women without, uh, you know, a control group, they would look at pictures that are either provoking disgust so things, I mean, you probably don't want to know what, but let's just say moldy food is one that's like somewhat disgusting, but not as disgusting as some other things. Uh, fear, you know, like an attacking shark would be an example of a fear picture. They had um, happy, like pleasant pictures. Um, so like kittens or a sunset, think those are the examples they gave. And, uh, and neutral, so like a clock or keys, you know, a set of keys, so some neutral objects. And then they made, measured, as the people were looking at these things, they, they looked at their brains. Um, and they also had the people self-report, you know, like how much disgust did they feel, for example. And so three different parts of the brain were shown to be more active, and those are the amygdala, the insula, and the orbitofrontal cortex, or the OFC, and all those together, it's been shown previously that those kind of mediate emotions um, and how we feel and experience emotions. So that's pretty interesting. So those parts of the brain, they're the same parts of the brain that are responding with disgust, fear, happiness in um, the control group, but the skin picking group had greater amounts of activity there. So. It's just good to know, I think. It's always good to understand ourselves and sometimes kind of looking at something outside like research, external research can kind of like shine the light on, hey, you know, that is kind of true. I do tend to be a little more emotional um, than it seems some other people. We're just more sensitive in general. Another kind of interesting thing about the study was that they actually had to dismiss six of the, the samples because the patients moved in the, um, the imaging machine uh, because, and it was all the skin picking patients rather than the controls um, because of this like enhanced, I guess, emotional arousal, like those clients 
were fidgety or you know picky they actually monitored to make sure no one was picking because that could alter the results but you know some of the samples people were moving and so they actually got rid of those but the biggest finding again is the increased emotional reactivity to these uh, affective pictures they call them pictures that have an emotional content and also that the brain areas that are activated are the same as in um, the control group. So it's not like we have a different mechanism of um, emotion going on or anything's different or it, it's just more active. All right, so I know this was quick, but uh, I thought it was interesting. I hope you thought found it interesting. Feel free to leave comments or uh, add a like, you know, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this and I will see you soon.